Bernie Crooks from Litman Crooks. One of the things I'm going to talk about today is how to make things easier for yourself and your family in the event that you become sick or incapacitated. Many people don't realize that if they fall ill, that a court needs to get involved to make decisions for them regarding their health care and financial decisions. But if you take the opportunity, you can make sure that your family members are going to be the ones who make the decisions for you by executing a power of attorney, a living will, and a health care proxy. These are called advanced directives. How does one determine who should take that responsibility for you? Well, it's not an easy decision. Uh, you need to talk to your family in advance to make sure that you're comfortable and they're comfortable with the choices you've made. You may want to pick your son, who you feel is equipped to make these decisions for you, but he may not be comfortable making those decisions. So uh, we recommend that you have a family meeting, express your wishes, and then together make a decision as to who would be best to make these decisions for you in the event you can't make them yourself. When you meet with a family, what is it you tell them? What are the things you should be sure to cover? Well, we make sure that uh, they cover um, situations where um, they're on life support, uh, they're terminally ill, uh, they can't get better. Uh, would they really want to be hooked up to machines? Uh, and they have every right to be. In fact, over the years, we've actually had a couple people say, uh, if I'm in that position, uh, I want modern medicine to do whatever they can do to make sure that I stick around until they find a cure for what they live in. Uh, but that's the minority, but uh, people do do that. Uh, most people don't want to be a burden to their family. So if they're sick and the doctors are saying you're not going to get better, uh, you're just going to be kept alive by machines, um, the family can have the authority to uh, let nature take its course, uh, and uh, you, can, um, you can express that in your advanced directives. But if you don't, uh, then it's very, very difficult uh, and time-consuming for your family to carry out your wishes after the fact. Should I be writing these down or just talking with my family is okay? Well, we think you should do both. Uh, you should talk to them uh, to make sure everybody's on the same page, uh, but you should also write them down. Uh, it'll be a lot easier for your wishes to be carried out by your family members uh, if you express them in writing. That's not to say that... Um, they won't be carried out if you don't, but it, it is very complicated. It will depend on the um, medical institution where you're at, depending upon how progressive their thinking is, uh, and I would not recommend that. So if you write the wishes down, uh, then uh, you have a much greater likelihood that they'll be carried out. Who should hold on to all the paperwork? Well, we recommend that uh, you should obviously have a copy. Uh, the people who you appoint uh, as the decision makers should have a copy. And you should also give a copy to your health care providers. Uh, many people have more than one doctor, so you should make sure they have copies uh, of uh, these papers uh, in your permanent.